Today I have a very exciting video for you. I'm gonna be decluttering all my lip products, my lipsticks, my lip glosses, my liquid lipsticks. I have so many of them. It's crazy, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get through this together. Let's get into it. So here we have a lot of my lip products. These are basically all my lip products. Probably they're still floating around somewhere in my bags. I don't know. I can't get them all in frame because I have a gigantic amount. Oh, it's all collapsing. There's another basket here, basket, basket, a lot of loose ones. I have this little cup with those uh, click sticks. There is a lot going on. I have a lot of lip products and the past I don't know, a year or so, I've been really testing a lot of lip products and now I've even gotten into lip swatching videos and you can see it in my collection, but we really have to go through, I really have to go through and see what I still wanna keep because this is too much, this is more than I can use, this is more than I want. I'm gonna get everything kind of like out of frame and then we can start, try and go through it a little bit, like quickly. Not too quick, but a little quickly. Okay, maybe we should just kind of start with this and see if my camera wants to focus because this it's just too much. I don't know how to start otherwise. So should I find something to keep it in? I'm already having issues. Okay, we're just gonna try it like this. I'm gonna do my best. Recently, I did a video swatching all these Shine Bomb liquid lipsticks by Catrice. There are seven new liquid lipsticks, seven shades, but also a new formula. And I am probably gonna be keeping all of these. Let's see. This is shade Pinky Promise. I'm gonna keep that one. We have shade Good Taste. I'm gonna keep that one as well. I really like this formula and I also really like the shade. Some of these are really like, <laughs> there's a lot of glue on these that I still have to fix. This is shade Sweet Talker. The thing is, I don't need that many like true red lipsticks. I don't really wear true red lipsticks like this. It's a little too bright on me. I feel like it doesn't really work. So I'm gonna kind of make a pile of true red lipsticks and then in the end I'm gonna like choose the ones I really want to keep. So this one is gonna be in kind of like in the true red maybe pile but all the other ones of this range I'm gonna keep and I have to clean them like the stickers were hard to remove then we have these glosses by romand this is my new favorite gloss formula these are so good so juicy they don't have any shimmer in them i did a video like swatching all the colors there's one i don't see might be in a bag somewhere might be that it's me and i'm not seeing it right now but there are six shades of these this is an amazing formula watch the video if you're interested in just a very glowy glossy very nice smelling hydrating feeling lip product these just feel and look so good on the lips and also like they stay on for a bit and it's really nice i just don't know where the last one is Oh, I found it. It's this one. The one in Rose Finch. This one is my favorite, I think. Okay, the ones I'm keeping, I'm gonna put in this basket up until it doesn't fit anymore because it's a small basket and there's a lot of lip products, but we need some structure here. Okay, we have the liquid lipsticks from the Catrice Heart Affair collection. We have three shades here. The bright pink, the kind of like warmish nude and the purpley one. These are pretty new in my collection. I really like this formula. I'm gonna be keeping those. This one is the lip and cheek tint from the Love Like a Dragon's collection by Essence. I'm gonna put this with the blushes because I don't really love this on the lips. Then we have the Essence Chili Vanilla Color Intensifying Lip Balm. It's already like totally wearing off the writing. I actually recently tried this Makeup Revolution lip balm that is pH reacting and I really like that one. I like it more than this one. This one is a little thin. It's not hydrating enough for my dry lips. So I'm actually gonna be like giving this away. Then I have these two lip oils from BH Cosmetics. I actually like these. I'm gonna be keeping them. Uh, I just kind of use them as lip balms. This is the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in Fast Lane. This is really nice. Looks really nice on the lips. I have to use it more. I am gonna be keeping that. Then we have the Kika Milano Stellar Love Duo Lip Color and Gloss. And this is in the shade. Zero two beating hearts. This is a very warm shade. I don't know if this is really gonna be my shade in the end. Like maybe in spring, summer, if I have a little bit of more of a tan, I think I'm gonna keep it around for that option for a little bit longer because it's also quite new in my collection. 
And then we have this true red lipstick from the Essence Love Lock and Dragons collection. I'm gonna put that in a true red maybe pow. Then we have this bright pink lipstick from the Love Lock and Dragons collection. Oh, this is quite a nice shade. I'm gonna be keeping that one. This is the Essence Chili Vanilla Lip Glaze. This is quite a cute lip gloss, but it's nothing like super special. Like it's fine. Um, like it's just fine. I think I'm gonna declutter it because it's just, like, I have so many hydrating glossy products. I think I have enough without it. It was cute. I'm glad I tried it but I don't really need it. This is the Boozy Shop Clear Gloss Juicy and Luminizing. I sometimes use this as a lip balm. I'm gonna keep this one. Then we have the Catrice Heart Affair Lipstick in CO3 Heartbreaker, and this is gonna be a true red, so it's gonna be in the true red Maybe Pow. This is CO2 in a heartbeat. This is a cute shade, I'm gonna keep that. And then we also have CO1 Hearts On. That is a bright pink. I'm gonna keep that as well. This is the Essence of Metaclo Multi Reflective Gloss, and this is in the shade 02 Digital Pink. I thought this was very gritty and not very comfortable on the lips, so I'm gonna be decluttering this one. So far, only Essence declutters. <laughs> Then what I'm gonna keep from Essence is the Super Balm Glossy Lip Treatment. This is super juicy, very hydrating. I like this one. This is the Essence Algae with Hydrating Effect Lip Oil. This is almost out, like I'm almost done with this. So I'm gonna keep it and use it up like in like three uses and then that's gonna be it. A lot of these lip products are also like mostly hydrating that I just throw on whenever, not with certain makeup looks or anything. So those are gonna be separate in the end like i don't really fully count them as full on like full lip products because i just throw them on whatever whatever and i just like throw them in a bag and they're just like lip balms to me then we have the unearthly lip gloss in admire this is a very cool tone purple um i don't love this shade but i'm gonna keep it for now because it's new and i don't hate it that much and it's like my first experience with unearthly lip gloss could be good to have on hand all right then we have this lunar beauty lip gloss in starlight i don't think i'm gonna be decluttering any lunar beauty lip products because i love them i mean he does the best glosses liquid lipsticks lip oils i love them so much so can see myself getting rid of those then we have this nabla matte pleasure lipstick this is in shade eden this was from their september collection it's a very it's a very muted kind of like peachy pink nude and i find this formula a little drying but it's really nice with like something like a gloss on top so i'm gonna be keeping this around i need to declutter more but these are all like new things so usually i'm not that fast with like not all of them are new things but a lot of these are new things and usually i'm not that fast with decluttering new things because i just i need to have spend some time with them sometimes you do kind of discover that you do like something okay this is the milani fruit fetish lip oil in 160 lychee nectar i like this i don't love it but i'm gonna keep it around for now because it's new in my collection and this one i'm gonna declutter because i really don't like this formula this is from flower nose from the little angel collection this is one of their matte lipsticks this formula looks so dry on my lips it's not that it feels dry but it looks so incredibly dry and uneven and unflattering and there's just nothing here for me so i'm gonna be decluttering this one i just have to accept that the matte lip formula from flower nose is not for me it doesn't work with my lips it's not my thing okay zoom you in a little bit and the pow is getting smaller then we have the makeup by mario gloss this is in rose nude i really love this gloss it's so 3d it's so nice i really really like it so i'm keeping it then we have mac lipstick and hug me have i used this have i actually put this on my lips yes i have i have okay <laughs> I was doubting myself there for a second. Okay, I really like this formula. This is from their Luster Glass Lipstick Formula. It's a really good formula. I also have Tanks. It's MAC. I believe this one went viral. Uh, was it last year or the year before? I don't keep up that well with viral products. But this is also a very nice shiny product. 
Love this formula, it's very flattering. Then we have one of the Flower Nose Water Lip Stains from the Mermaid Collection. I thought that these were a little like quick to disappear from the lips. Like they are supposed to be staining, but I didn't see much of them after like an hour or two. Uh, I have another one of these. I don't know where, but I'm gonna put this to the side and then at the end I'm gonna see if I want to keep both but it, because I felt like they were pretty similar and it's just it's not my favorite formula. Like it doesn't stay glossy or doesn't add enough color for long enough. Then we have this Makeup by Mario um, Plumping Lip Serum. This is in Apricot Glow and this... Sorry if I'm out of frame. This one this formula, I was really looking forward to trying this and it looks really nice on the lips, but it just disappears off the lips pretty quickly for me and maybe a little bit too quickly. But at the same time, the idea of this product really, I like it. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Like there's gonna be quite a big maybe pile. I, I need to get some things out of the way to be able to say more about some maybe products. This is the Catrice Marblicious Liquid Lip Balm. This is in 010 Swirl It, Don't Shake It. This is a light pink shade. I'm gonna keep it, I really like the formula. Then we have this Luna Beauty Lip Oil. This is just a clear one. This is in Expose Me. I really like it. I just use it as kind of like a lip balm. Really good. Then we have the Kika Milano Days and Bloom Volumizing Lip Shine. I really like this one. This is in 04 Modern Mop. It's a little bit of a minty gloss, but it's just... I really hope my camera has been focusing all this time. Like I'm taking a risk here by having all these products out in front of me like that. But this is a really nice kind of like nudish purple sheer gloss. Shimmery and a little bit minty. Really like it. Then we have two of the Kiko Milano Days and Bloom Hydra Glow Lipstick. I don't love these, but I don't hate them. I feel like I need a little bit more time with them. They emphasize a little bit of texture on my lips, which I don't love. But that's an issue that I have more often. I do feel like when I wear them for a little bit longer, then uh, it starts looking a little better. So I kind of want to see what these look like when my lips are a little less dry, what these look like after I kind of like blot them down, like spend some more time with them. Like I already know that they look a little bit better when like wearing them a little longer, but is there something else I could do with this? Like experiment a little more with this. Like think about, kind of think outside of the box a little bit because I do really like the packaging. I kind of want to make them work. Then we have the Kika Milano Stellar Love Velvet Caress Lipstick in 01. I really like the packaging. I really like this formula. It's a little bit of a thicker, creamy feeling matte formula. I do feel like I kind of bought the wrong shade. Like this is a little bit warmer than I was expecting. It's a little bit like terracotta-esque and that just doesn't suit me and I also have one other shade of this which is more cool tone so I kind of feel like I should like give this to someone else who will appreciate it more because it's not my shade I kind of made a mistake here so I'm gonna do something crazy and declutter a newish Kiko Milano lip product then we oh wow do you see that these are like zest you can't put them like next to each other they just they won't stay it's the magnets okay everything is fine we don't need to call ghostbusters it's gonna be okay we don't need to call scooby-doo um this is from the dreamer collection from unearthly these are three of the shades i already gave away the dark purple one to my sister we have the shade cloudland then we have the shade vision now we have the shade dreamer so i realized that the shade vision didn't suit me as well as i thought kind of pulled pretty dark so i actually want to give that away to someone who will suit that better i think i definitely want to keep a uh, dreamer i like this cool tone brown and in this case kind of i kind of accept that it's gonna look more kind of like edgy it's it's fine it's fine to look a little edgy but i thought that the vision shade would, was gonna be a little bit more of pinky nude which it is not and then we have shade cloudland i really like this formula but the shades are just a little grungy for me they make me look kind of 
sickly. I think I should give this away to someone who will enjoy it. My best friend recently discovered that she's a winter. She had her colors done and she always wore like pretty warm makeup but now she knows that she should be wearing cool makeup. But now it's much easier for me to give her some makeup because I'm also cool and if something is a little bit too deep for me she can use it so maybe this could be something for her and I just love the idea of giving something to someone who's gonna really enjoy it then it doesn't feel like I've wasted my money it doesn't feel like it because I am happy to give these things. So I'm actually going to declutter that one as well. All right, let's continue with some lip products from the Charmer collection by Unearthly. So we have the gloss in shade Puppy Love. I feel like there is still some fun to be had with this gloss. It's a little bit more like light, pinky, airy. So I'm going to be keeping that one. Then we have the liquid lipstick in Bliss. I'm going to be keeping that one as well. And then we also have the lip oil. And this was really like this dark blue shade. This is the shade Heartache. I think I'm gonna hold on to it, but I'm gonna keep it for reference probably. And not really like in my drawer. I am gonna semi declutter it, which I've been doing throughout these declutters is I've put things kind of to the side that I might wanna reference later, but I don't want it to be in my basket where I pick things from for when I'm actually doing my makeup. So I'm gonna declutter this but kind of like it's gonna be put to the side because the shade is just too weird for me i don't like the lip oil but i also have so many lip oils that don't make me look crazy let's move on this is the glassing water tint in vintage ocean by romand i'm gonna be keeping this one tints and stains do not work the best on me because i have dry lips and they look a little uneven usually this one works pretty well i like it it looks glossy but it's just at the end of the day, like after a few hours, the gloss has worn off. It's gonna feel a little dry, but I, I, I like it for a tint. I think this is a good one. It's time to go through the slim sticks that I bought. Because I bought the whole range to swatch it for you. And I have to say, I liked a lot of the shades. But some of these just gotta go. Some of these are just for someone else. So I can already tell you that this shade, the one in Nice Spice, this kind of like orangey tone, it's gonna go like... I don't need it anymore and someone else can use it and I don't need to like keep it around. This is shade Sweet Copper, which is... Kind of like an orangey shade, like a darker orange. I'm gonna declutter that one as well. And we also have Brick Red. I think I quite liked this shade. We have shade Velvet Punch. This is a dark one. And I actually feel like this would look really good on my friend or on my sister. So I'm actually gonna be... Yeah, I'm gonna be giving this one away. Then we have the pink drink. That looks like a nice shade for me. We have Brick Road. Mm, do I need this? I don't feel like I really need to keep this. This one I'm probably gonna keep. This one is Hot Chili. I am gonna declutter that one as well. Then we have Chocoholic. This is kind of like a chocolatey brown. I like that one. And then we have the nude one. This is over the nude. I like that one as well. Okay, I'm gonna be keeping five of these. All right, we have Catrice Winnie the Pooh, the lip oil. This is a really nice one. I'm gonna keep this, but like as a lip balm. I don't use this as a part of my makeup routine. Then we have all of the lip products. Well, not all of the lip products. We have all of the lip products that I bought from the new Odin's Eye collection. We have the ones from Mighty Monster and then the ones from Spring Dragon. I am gonna be keeping these all for now. We're gonna see in the end what's gonna happen, but for now I'm gonna be keeping these. Okay, next I have this signature lipstick by Moira. It's kind of like a shiny lipstick. This is in shade 18. I don't really understand why I bought this shade. I feel like it's not really my shade. Maybe I should check back on the video because it's kind of like this warmish brown and I, I don't like a warmish brown on myself. It just doesn't suit me. I'm gonna put this in the reference pile. So it's gonna be decluttered but for reference. Like I just want to put it kind of somewhere else because it's not my shade. Like I really like the formula but I bought the wrong shade once again. Why do I keep doing that? I just need to buy another shade. I don't need to buy another shade but I 
wish to buy another shade of that. Okay, let's go through this little bag. I have some products, some lip products from Kika Milano. I did a video kind of like trying out all of their lip formulas. And I feel now that I made that video, I really have this place where I can reference to, where you can reference to. If you wanna know my opinion about any of the lip formulas by Kika Milano, just check that video. Um, I tell you all about it. Like which ones I like, which ones I don't like. I'm ranking them even. So yeah, some of them I didn't like, to be honest. I didn't like, or I did like the Velvet Passion Matte Lipstick. I'm gonna be keeping this. That's kind of like a nice purpley mauve shade. Then the Powder Power Lipstick in 05. I actually really like this one, so I'm gonna be keeping that as well. The Metal Liquid Lip Color is not the worst formula that I've tried, certainly, but it's just so metallic that I'm never gonna use this again. I'm gonna declutter this. Then we have the Long Lasting Color Lip Marker from Kiko. I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile. I have to revisit that later because I do have some like tint type of products, which of them I wanna keep. That's a question. Here we have the Kika Milano Smart Fusion Lip Crayon. This is not a bad product, but this just didn't really like vibe with me fully. Like it was a bit too matte, it was a little bit too bright. I didn't love the lip look as much. So I'm gonna declutter that one. Then we have the Kiko Milano Smart Fusion Lipstick in 457. I really like this one. It was creamy, it was pretty long wearing. It's a nice light cool tone shade. Gonna keep it and I also bought 458 but I haven't tried this one yet it's a little bit deeper but I thought you know if I like the light one usually if you have any issues with the formula it's a light one I probably like this one too I'm gonna be keeping that then we have the glossy dream sheer lipstick in 204 I I really love this formula this is a great formula it's so juicy it's so sheer and shiny it looks amazing on the lips it has a little bit of shimmer in there if you don't like that avoid these but I love these so this is 202 kind of like a warm pinky shade I love it we have the Kiki Milano creamy lip gloss in 101 this is really like this nude creamy lip gloss I keep nicking it with the cap I just can't deal with these types of products but I'm gonna keep this because it is a nice kind of like lip balmy like tinted lip balm kind of product then we have the gossamer emotion creamy lipstick i didn't like this one at all uh it's just very unflattering and i remembered after that i already tried one of the gossamer emotion lipsticks like a while ago and i didn't like it and i didn't give it a good review and i totally forgot about it but i still wanted to like show you everything in the video like give you the complete rundown of all the products so i had to repurchase it for the video to be able to do that but now this is gonna go again and then we have the smart fusion creamy lip crayon on 08 and this is actually a really nice one i think it's creamy it's a nice color it looks really flattering on the lips it's a little thicker but I did enjoy it. Okay, we need to declutter more. More needs to happen. I need to focus. Okay, I have two of these, I believe, but I only see one now. So this is the, or did I already declutter one of these? I don't know. This is the Dancing Snowflakes CO3. This is from the Catrice Holiday Collection. This is from a Christmas story or Christmas magic. Something like that. And this is more kind of like the nudie pink shade. I'm gonna be keeping this. This was a nice lipstick. This is the She Glam Creamy Lipstick in C201 Nude. Oh, it's officially it's the Creme Allure Lipstick. This is a really nice lipstick. It looks like it's gonna be matte, but then when you apply it, it's really like nice and kind of like creamy, almost glossy. It's quite nice. I'm gonna be keeping it. Then we have the Kika Milano Beauty Essentials 3D Effect Lip Gloss. This is a really nice peachy shade. This is very nice and minty. I'm gonna be keeping this one. Then I'm just going at random now. My declutters don't make a lot of sense. Like they're not in alphabetical order. I don't grab all of the same brand at the same time. I just grab what I see. So this is the Nabla Beyond Jelly Lipstick, Sheer Lipstick in Luz. And I actually really like this one. I just, when I first got these I was really confused and really surprised because these were way more pigmented than they made it seem in the promo shots like they are more of a cream lipstick with a bit of a glow to them than they are like a super sheer shiny lipstick they are not 
as jelly as some lipsticks that I've tried. So I was a bit confused, but forgetting about that, this is actually a really nice lipstick. And I also really like the packaging. Okay, then we have the Flower Nose Shiny Lipstick from the Swan Belay collection. This is shade B02. I really like both of the lipsticks that I have from this collection. This is a bit of a mauve one. It's very nice and shiny and it stays on quite a long time, which I really like. Then we have this Kiko Milano 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in shade 45. And this is a really nice formula. I think this is a nice lip gloss. It's just a shimmery, kind of like a rosy brown. Then we have the Kiko Milano Powerful Love Stunning Creamy Lipstick in 01. This is one of my absolute favorite lipsticks in my collection. I love the packaging. I love the way this looks. I love the shade of this. It's such a good shade and it's so comfortable and creamy on the lips. I should wear this more often, for sure. Then we have this Hydra Shiny Lip Stylo in 03. Um, I quite like the shade, actually, but the formula is just a little strange. It's a bit sticky, but in the end, I think I'm going to keep this because I do really like the shade and the way it looks. It's just a little sticky. Like, it's just mm, a little different than some kind of like hydrating shiny lipsticks that I've tried from Kiki Milano, but I think I'm gonna like keep this for a little longer. Let's see, this is a Jelly Stylo in 507 by Kiki Milano. I really like this formula. I am gonna be keeping this one around. Like it's very sheer, shiny, glossy. Then we have a Essence a Balmy Gloss. This is the Mickey and Friends Gloss. This is the one in 02 Back to Nature. This is actually quite a nice product, but I really hate it that these like, so hard to get out of the packaging and it doesn't like there isn't even a lot of product on the dough food like it's all still in there because it's so snug in there um it's hard to get in as well i don't like that but i felt like it was kind of nice like on the lips and you know what i think i might let go of this because it's just so annoying like, I wanna, I wanna like this, but it's just too annoying. I'm not gonna grab for it. Here we have this She Glam Glaze Days Lip Gloss. This is in Rose Tea. This is quite a nice formula. The packaging of this is a little, like, cheapy feeling, but it's quite a nice gloss formula. Do I feel, though, that I need this now that I have the lip glosses from Romand? Mm, no, I'm probably not gonna reach for this one. Overdose. Like, it's the same thing. But those are better. So I'm gonna declutter this one. All right, here's the other one from the Catrice Christmas Story collection. This is kind of like this um, purpley red. Am I gonna keep this? Now I'm gonna be swatching things. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. We have another balmy gloss. This is the one in All Time Classic 01. This is a bit easier to grab from the packaging. Like, it's a bit easier. Yeah. Should I keep one? Should I keep one? I will keep one, but just for like a lip balm. This is from the Winnie the Pooh collection. This is in 030 Tiggerized. And this is a really nice lip balm. Looks really nice on the lips. It's a nice mauve shade. I'm gonna be keeping this. I wanna wear this again. And then we have this Kika Milano the Little Mermaid Creamy Lip Stylo. I really like this formula. It's really nice. And the shade is kind of like this rosy tone. So I'm gonna be keeping this one around. Okay, here I have five of the Kika Milano Matte and Shiny Dual Liquid Lip Color. So we have a matte and shiny side. These were really confusing to me because there is a matte liquid lipstick and then the shiny side is actually not a gloss to put over top. It is a stain, but they don't really market it that well. I kind of feel like I have to rewear these these are not even available anymore i think but i don't really remember like which which ones i liked the most wait i should i want to put all of the matte to one side hmm i like the pink one for sure i always like the pink one the nude one also looks nice the purple one i can see myself wearing but these two this is probably a little bit too muted and this is a little too deep maybe. Yeah, I would love to be this person, but I am not. 
and this is just i really like the shade but i feel like someone else could enjoy that way more than i could then we have another one of these she glam glaze days lip gloss this is in the shade mocha cake this is a cool tone brown it's different than what i have in the romand one so i think i'm gonna keep this one and i also still have one of that formula let's see we have the two liquid lipsticks that i have from the lunar beauty siren sunset collection i'm gonna be keeping these these are like this purpley one is a little deep for me but i feel like there's still place for these in my collection and i also just really love this liquid lipstick formula so if i'm gonna have anything in a shade it's gonna be from lunar beauty then we have the kika milano uh, unlimited stylo in shade 12 i have another shade that i like more than this one i don't think i'm gonna wear this one so i'm gonna declutter this one then we have the a uh, holiday fable enchanting lipstick this is a shimmery nude lipstick that is really cool i haven't worn it in a bit i'm gonna be putting that in a maybe pile then we have the holiday fable enchanting lipstick in zero two um I'm going to be keeping this one. This is a lot more wearable for me. I have here two of the Kaleidos Glow Glossy Lip Glaze. The Untamed Glow Glossy Lip Glaze. I have Skinny Dip and I have Pinky Promise. I feel like I have more, but I don't see them right now. This is a super nice glazy lip gloss. I actually really like these, so I'm going to be keeping that. Next, we have the Kika Milano Unlimited Stylo in 05. I like this shade a lot like this is a really nice shade i love these types of kind of like fresh purple nudes i'm gonna keep that then we have this essence lip oil that has totally <laughs> i don't know what happened here like it all sunk to the top this is a fine lip oil in my opinion like it's fine i mean i am gonna be keeping this i think but i don't know if i'm gonna keep it forever like this is not my favorite i don't know if i'm gonna be able to organize this with you watching it's gonna be a lot to tackle i'm gonna try to get it on camera <laughs> i'm gonna start with these uh six sticks kind of things like clicky sticks we have the she glam ones i think i'm gonna keep them all i like the shades that i have this is beach walk cool tone nude we also have pink flamingo a light pinky shade there's also there's also first crush kind of like a rosy tone i really like that one we have oh i really like this one this is making me blush oh that's a really nice one kind of like a light pinky lilac -y shade and then we also have spring fever which is kind of like brighter but still kind of rosy i like it then i have two of the nyx ones the fat slick click oils i like both of these this is kind of like a nude shade a little bit like almost mauve nude and then we have the one in dm me and this is kind of like this purpley one it's just a shade that i really like now we have the Kika Milano Lip Volume in 0122 Rose. I don't think this is a very special formula. I don't think this does a lot for my lips. I don't mind having it around, but I also feel like I need to make some space. And I don't feel like I'm going to be talking about this in any videos. I know how I feel about this. Um, I'm going to be decluttering that. Then we have all of the shades of the Catrice Melt and Shine Juicy Lip Balm. I feel like these were all pretty wearable for me. Like there was nothing here that I didn't feel was wearable. Um, they're pretty sheer. They're pretty easy to use. I just have them in that little like in the little glass on top of my like background. I just grab one whenever and I just throw it on into lip balm. Um, I'm going to be keeping all of these because they're just so easy to wear. I just like them a lot. I'm just going to be putting all of these um, back in here because I'm going to be having them there anyway. That's like already part of the organization. All right, we have gotten somewhere, but we have to go even further. Like there is still more to talk about. I don't even know at this point how far we are but this is a whole basket of things i'm gonna like, try and speed through it so this is the catrice medjool's my rules lip glaze this is a nice one it's more like a liquid lip balm to me i'm gonna keep it then we have these l'oreal lip glosses i just got these um i did try them i put them in my new makeup updates 
I don't love these, but I still want to like keep them around for a little bit because they are new. These are not bad. They look really nice on the lips, but they just disappear kind of quickly and they are very minty. With these products, I just feel like it's kind of disappeared once the mint disappears. It's kind of weird. I'm weird with these products. I don't feel like it's true match, but I'm going to keep them for a little bit longer. Then I have this Kika Milano Create Your Balance Pen Lipstick and Lip Primer. This was a fine product it was just fine i'm gonna be decluttering it because it was not amazing and this is not a collection or anything that people are still asking a lot about so i have to be realistic then i have this essence juicy balm lip oil i thought this was very underwhelming i'm gonna declutter this like it was not very hydrating it's like the tiniest thing and it's also just very like sweet like the scent is so sweet this is the catrice marvelicious liquid lip balm i really love this one it's just so juicy and comfortable and it looks so nice on lips then i have the kika milano beauty essentials 3d effect lip gloss this is one of my favorite lip glosses in my collection i love this shade of the formula uh let's see alien cosmetics i had all of these shades basically and I really love the formula, but I feel like it's time to be realistic. And this one is gonna go, this is the shade Pumpkin. This is too orange for me. And I also have one kind of orangey shade from Little Beauty and that's enough for me. This is the Cool Tone one in Brew. I liked it, but I'm never probably gonna wear this again. It's a little deep for me. Then I have Autumn and I have Eerie and I have Potion. I like all of these and this is a really nice formula. I think I'm gonna keep these but I might declutter some of these like I might declutter more the next round. All right Sephora lip stain in 70. This is the only Sephora lip stain that I still have. I used to have like 20 or something. I'm gonna keep this. I like this shade a lot. Um, something I think I can finally let go of is these Nabla uh, what was this collection called? This was the Dreamy 2 collection, I believe. We have the two new shades here, Eve and Hedonist. I love the idea of this. These look nice on the lips, but they are kind of like smeary. They go everywhere. Um, I thought I liked these, but I never grabbed for these with a reason. These are also pretty old. I don't know if they are even still available. So I'm going to be decluttering these finally. Right. The Nala Shine Theory Lip Gloss. I use this a lot. Like this used to be my favorite lip gloss. This is in shade Stardust Radio. Uh, let's see if it still smells good. Okay, my card was full. I don't know where it was, but I was kind of like... Seeing if I still wanted to keep this shade, the Stardust Radio from Nabla, but I feel like it's just a little old. I feel like it's kind of had its time. It still smells fine, but it just feels a little old. And I feel like if I grab for a red lip gloss, I will probably go for this one because the tone of this one is just a little better for me. So I'm going to declutter this one. It's just at some point you just don't really reach for things anymore because in the back of your mind, you just kind of think about how kind of old something is next up we have the kika milano powerful love demi matte liquid lip color this is really like a fancy self kind of thing to keep like i don't really use metallic lip colors and i don't think i need to keep this there's kind of like this look i wish that would look good on me with a like ruby red true red lip color but it's just not my type of lip color so i'm gonna let go. Then we have another one of the Kika Milano 3D Hydro Lip Glosses. This is 41. It's a really nice shade. I also have some satin lipsticks from the Valentine's collection, I think, from Unearthly Cosmetics um, 2023. Like the 2023 Valentine's collection. I don't remember what it was called, but I have a few lipsticks here and I feel like... Do I want to keep all of these? I think I'm gonna get rid of the like deeper purplish one. I think I can find someone who will really enjoy that. These two kind of like lighter cool tone nude shades I can see myself wearing. Then we have another one of those Mario ones in Rose Glow. I think if I would keep anything, it would probably be this, but I'm still gonna put it in the maybe pile to take a look at it later. I have here the Catrice Plump It Up Lip Boost. So this is a really nice lip gloss formula. It's really nice and shiny. It's kind of like 3D looking on the lips. The shimmers, you don't feel it, really feel it on the lips, but it gives a nice like shiny effect. I feel like I kind of bought this in a period of my life that I was kind of hoping, kind of wishing, kind of trying to make myself look good in things that don't really look good on me. And I 
no, you don't have to look at that. You know, I know you can just like wear whatever you want. I totally get that. And you should just wear whatever you want. But what I want to wear is more cool tone things. I'm just into that right now. And I just, I'm not that into these things anymore that I bought when I was kind of like thinking warm tones look better on me than they do. I don't know if this makes any sense. I've been filming for hours today. I don't feel like I make any sense anymore. Um, but it's just not my shade. I don't have to explain any more than that. I just don't like the shade anymore. I do like the formula. Oh, I have another one. This is the Alien Cosmetics. Um, this is from the regular line. The liquid lipstick, the satin liquid lipstick in Kylena. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. It just, it has something a little green about it almost. And I don't think it's my shade. Yeah, it's kind of green brown. It's kind of interesting. This one I'm gonna keep. This is the Plump It Up Lip Booster from Catrice in shade No Fake Love. This is a light pinky one. It looks a little crazy, but it's just settled a little weirdly. Then we have these two lipsticks from Nabla. We have the shade Peach Deal, which is just not my tone. I'm gonna declutter that. I like the one in Eden that I just showed you or like that I showed you like half an hour ago a lot more. And then Naked Mob. <sighs> I'm gonna keep this one. Yes, I'm gonna do it. This is the Kika Milano Juicy Tint Lips and Cheeks Liquid Color. I'm gonna put this in a baby pal just to see in the end what I need. This is the Makeup by Mario Lip Gloss in Mauve Nude. I really like this one. I'm gonna keep it. This is the Catrice Ultra High Shine Lipstick in Make It Neuter. This is not available anymore. And I really like this shade because it's like this cool tone nude. But I don't know. I never reach for it. Like it's a really good shade. But do I really have nothing like this anywhere else? I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Gonna keep my eyes open for something like that. Okay, this is the Flower Nose Circus Lipstick in C05. This is Black Tea Jelly. This is kind of like a reddish shiny lipstick. Um, I do remember really liking this formula, but do I need this shade? Oh, that's really nice actually. Okay, I'm gonna be keeping that one. And then we also have the one in C01. Oh, I remember, I think I really like this one. That's really nice and pinky. I'm sorry if I'm not in frame, like these look really good. Okay, gonna keep that one. I have this Colourpop Blotted Lip that I bought kind of for that uh, blotted lip effect, but then in the center of the lip, kind of like that um, you just ate an ice cream stain. I kind of bought it for that. I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile. I have quite a big maybe pile, I should maybe could guess. This is the Flower Nose. This is kind of like a lip clay. This is an O2. This is from the Circus Collection. Uh, let's see, it's kind of like this mauve type shade. I believe I have another one. I'm probably just gonna pick one of these. This is a more warm type shade. I'm gonna declutter the warm one. I'm gonna keep the mauve one. Okay, we have the Kika Milano lip gloss. Crazy 90s, give me more volumizing lip gloss in 03. I like this one. It's kind of like this pinky shade. Pinky, purpley, dual chrome. Okay, here we have the Flower Nose Watery Lip Stain in kind of like a brown-esque shade. Not really brown, but kind of like mauve leaning more brown. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because it's a stain. What is this? Oh, this is the Moira Lip Oil in Only Smooches. This is actually a really nice shade. I'm gonna be keeping that. Here is the H&M Lip Shine. This is in Tiny Spark. I didn't feel like this was super special. And I don't feel like I'm really gonna be reaching for this. Nobody's asking for this. This was a kind of random purchase and I'm just gonna get rid of it. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Blush. It's a stain. I'm gonna put it in the maybe palm. Here is the Kika Milano. Little Mermaid Swirl Lip Gloss. I do remember liking these. I don't think I love these. I am gonna keep these around for a little bit. Like these could be something that I do 
wear but kind of like on no makeup makeup days this is the essence and disney's the lion king timon swirl lip gloss i really like it it's a really nice mauve nude with a shimmer throughout it here we have the catrice lip love and caring serum this is very thin it's just a little too thin for my dry lips i need more so i'm gonna declutter this i kind of forgot i had that all right the mac a La Plage Luster Lipstick. This is a really nice lipstick. It is the only kind of metallic lipstick that I find really flattering on myself. I'm gonna be keeping that one. Then we have the Catrice Demi Matte Lipstick in 070. I really like this rosy tone. I'm gonna be keeping this. I don't know if I will mem remember to use it because I'm still gonna have so many lipsticks. I'm gonna take another look at the end for sure. This is the MAC Lipstick in Twig. This is one that I kind of forget to use, but I'm gonna be keeping it because it is a nice shade. Then I have Kiki Milano Hydra Shiny Lip St Stylo in 15. This is not good enough of a shade that I'm gonna be keeping it with the slightly sticky formula. So I'm gonna declutter it. This is the Kiko Milano Holiday Premiere Lipstick and Gloss. This is in shade 02. This is kind of like the cool toned, really cool toned mauve shade. I'm gonna be keeping that one. I like the formula. Another MAC one. This is Creme de la Femme Frost Lipstick. This is a frosty metallic lipstick. This is nice, but do I need to keep it? I'm gonna keep it for a little longer. Like, I didn't even remember that I had that. How can I use things when I don't remember? This is the Demi Matte Lipstick by Catrice in 140. I did like this a lot, but I kind of feel like I have this now in different formulas that are still available. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let go of this one. I have this one. All right, I just went to have dinner. I went for a walk. I took a break and I was pretty late in the evening, but we're just gonna finish up this declutter. It's been a while I've been sitting here, but I just feel so ready to have this done. So this is the Catrice Demi Matte Lipstick in 100. And this is a nice shade. It's a cool tone nude, quite light. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. I don't know if I need to keep this. I feel like I might have something like this in a formula that's a bit more like now current. That Demi Matte formula is no longer in the Catrice line. Then we have the lipsticks from the Full Fancy collection by Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles. I have the shade Lanny over here. These were really creamy lipsticks. Uh, I don't never remember which name was what. This is the Culto Nude. Very, 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 very similar to what I have here, but yeah, definitely lighter. Like this one, I definitely have to wear with a liner. And it also emphasizes a little bit of texture, this one, because it's so creamy. And then we have Mora. This was kind of like the peachy type of shade, like peachy nude. So, this one, this is a really nice shade actually. I think this is my favorite of this collection, of these two. I'm gonna keep them both. Then I have some lip products from the Halloween collection by, by Odensei and Angelica Ningfist. This is the Glow Formula and this is in Radioactive. This is kind of like a yellowy nude. It's very sheer, so you can kind of use it as a lip balm or like a sheer lip gloss. This is the Shine in Spectral. I really like this one. This is a great shade. It's kind of like this cool toned brownie mauve. It's a great, great shade. And then we have this one in Shadow Creature. And this is a matte one. For me, this was a bit deep. It was a bit hard to wear, but I've been kind of getting into the pink one from the Spring Dragon collection, uh, the one that Judy did. And it's growing on me. The formula is growing on me. So I'm going to be keeping this one and kind of like trying it out in different ways and see how I feel about it. Using it a little bit differently than I usually would. Then here I have the Too Faced Cacao Bold and Power Cream Lipstick in Chocolate Strawberry. This is actually a really nice lip formula. I really like the packaging. This is a very kind of like light strawberry pink, kind of like a light nude pink. 
Uh, I'm gonna be keeping this one. It's a nice one. It's one where I kind of have to think how I'm gonna wear it because it's like so light peachy kind of, but I like it. Then we have the Martinez Diner Hot Sauce Pepper Sauce Lip Plumper. So I'm kind of wondering if I ever truly tried a very plumping painful lip gloss or if I am just not that sensitive to it because always when I hear people talking about how much they hate plumping lip products and they say how much it burns I just don't feel like I've ever had that experience and with this one I would expect to have that experience as well but I don't feel like I had I feel like this one felt very like maybe slightly tingly like Maybe I should try a really plumping lip gloss, the one that people say that is like so bad and I just want to feel <laughs> what they are feeling. I just want to know if I'm the kind of person that is sensitive to it or if I have like lips of steel. I'm Now I'm curious because I hear so many people about it. This is a sheer red gloss and I actually quite like this gloss. Um, this gives quite a nice tint to the lips and it's kind of like this cool toned red. I've kept it the last time and I didn't use it, but there's something about this that I still think I might enjoy. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw out the packaging and if I don't use it before next time that I'm gonna, de that I'm gonna declutter, then I definitely have to declutter it. Like this is the last chance, okay? No more chances after this. All right, the Maybelline Lip Vinyls. These, um, these are quite nice. They're pigmented, they stay quite shiny, they wear quite long. I do have a feeling like not all of these wear as well. Like this one wears so well, but I feel like one of these lighter shades, it kind of disappears of the lips a little bit. I feel like it might be cheeky or it might be peachy. And I hear more mixed feedback on this, like mixed thoughts. And I feel like some of these are better than others. And I should kind of like dive into this and see which ones I actually like and stay on and which ones kind of like fade off the lips kind of quickly. So I'm not gonna be declaring any of these right now, but I'm probably gonna like do a little bit of a test of all of these. I do like the shades that I have. This is lippy, this is kind of more rosy. Then we have the two lighter nudes. I think my favorite shade is the shade Koi, uh, because it's kind of like that purpley nude. I feel like I have to just take my time and retry this because it's been a while since I've actually worn this and I don't really remember which ones were my favorites, but the one that do work and stay, are really nice. Then I have these two lipsticks from Fancy Cosmetics. I got these in PR about a year ago maybe? I don't really remember exactly, maybe a little over a year ago. Uh, I have two shades. I got Cameo, which is really nice, kind of like rosy pink, a really good everyday shade. And then I also have shade Rouge, which is a cool toned dark red. And the dark red I'm gonna put in the maybe pot. I just don't wear those shades that often, but I feel like this one is a good one to still keep. It's a really nice, like, nudie pink for me. And then I have here another Makeup by Mario gloss. This is the one in Golden Nude. I feel like this is my least favorite, but I still like this formula so much that I'm gonna keep it. I still think it's a really nice shade. I just think that the rose and the mauve are they're just more my alley. The undertone is just a bit more cool. Then we have the Martina Cosmetics. Marcel, um, kind of like liquid lip balm this is. This is a cool toned, uh, kind of mauve shade. I kind of forgot that I had this. It's quite uh, pigmented and I don't know. How do I feel about this? It's very pigmented. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pot. I, I do like the formula. I know that I do like the formula, but I just don't know if I have to keep this shade in the end. Also don't really, review Martina Cosmetics a lot. It's not really a brand that I get into a lot. Like I've done some, some videos on them, but a lot of their releases also don't speak to me. Then we have another one of the Circus lipsticks. This is C06. I really like the shade. I think this was my favorite. I don't think these are available anymore, but these are so nice. But also the Swan Ballet ones are so nice. It's just the shiny lipsticks from Flower Nose are amazing. These I don't really reach for and I don't really know why. These are the Power Plumping Gel Lipstick by Catrice. Uh, they used to have a full line of these, but then they rebranded or like they relaunched their sheer shiny lipsticks. And now they also have those click stick, click stick. Uh, lipsticks. This is the one in 
zero ten. But they like at the time that they had these types of lipsticks, they also had this separate line, which were these uh, that were the like flower and herb edition. They had a little bit of a different scent. Uh, I do really like these shades. I still don't feel like I can let go of these, but I do have to let. I do have to use them. They are really nice shades. I know I really like the formula, but I just don't use them. I kind of forget about them. I just have to really like put these on my lips. The Marcuse Juicy Lipstick by Tarte in the shade Hibiscus. This is a really nice lipstick. Very creamy, very juicy. It looks amazing on the lips. Um, I should wear that again. Then I have here one of the Kiko Milano Lasting Matte Veil Liquid Lip Colors. This is 08. Uh, this is a kind of like red pink shade. I am gonna put this in a maybe pile. That's gonna be a whole other thing I still have to dive into. Then we have the plumping gel lipstick in 170. I kept this the last time because I swatched it and I was like, why don't I wear that? Like that's so nice and it is very nice. But I think it might be time to let this one go. Like it's a really nice and nudey peachy shade. But also I've worn this so much. It feels kind of older to me. It feels like I'm a little bit bored with this almost. I'm gonna put this in a makeup pile. I cannot say right now how I feel. Okay, this is Catrice Scandalous Matte in 030. This is a cool tone brown. Uh, it's a really nice... Formula, really nice shade. I am gonna put this in the maybe pile. I don't know if I really need that. Then I have this Essence Hydrating Nude Lipstick. This is in Heavenly. Do I need this? I do really like this formula, but I don't feel like I really need to have this, need to keep these. I don't know why, I just have a feeling like I can let go of that one. We have another one of the Makeup by Mario. This is the Bronze Glow. So a really nice shade. I do like the shades. I do like the look of the lit on the lips, but it's just a little weird how they wear. And then we have the lipstick, the Demo Matte Lipstick in Pink Addiction from Catrice. I really love this shade. I'm gonna be keeping that one. This is what we're decluttering so far. I'm gonna put that to the side. And then we have one more basket to go through. Let's see if we can get rid of some more things here. Here I have the Kika Milano 2-in-1 Unlimited Double Touch. This is 120. I really like this one. I'm going to keep it. And then here I have the Kika Milano Lip Oil in 02 from the Holiday Collection from 2023. I'm going to be keeping it. I liked it. It's just the amount of product in here is... It's not a lot. It's not a lot, but... It's nice. Then I have here two of the Beauty Roar PH Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is just kind of like a creamy liquid lipstick that looks actually quite nice on the lips. This was shade 05. It's described, I believe, as more of a mauve shade, but it's quite warm in the end. And then we have 03, which is more of a like strawberry pink. I think I'm going to be keeping both of these. These are newer in my collection and I quite like this formula. Here is another lip gloss from Kika Milano from the Beauty Essentials collection. This is the one in 03, gonna be keeping it. I like all of these. And then we have the Alva Cream Lip Stain by Onasai in the shade Water Lily. And this used to be one of my favorite lip products. Oh no, 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 no. I'm saying it wrong. Like not this exact one, but this lip formula I really, really loved. But I have one in this one. The one in Little Jasmine. This was my favorite. Why is there a hair here? This was my favorite lip color in my collection for a bit. This one is a little bit more nudey. But this is discontinued. It's really nice though. It's a really beautiful lip formula. But I feel like this has been kind of replaced by the Romand glosses. The fact that the Romand glosses are so perfect for me is just... What makes me be able to declutter some of these things. I am for sure going to be decluttering a water lily. So this one. It's just not my shade. And little jasmine. I'm going to keep it around for a little bit longer. But I'm feeling like it's not going to be that much of a staple anymore. And it will like organically kind of leave my collection in that way. Like next time I'll probably re be ready to declutter this. Then we have a dual lip color and gloss from the Powerful Love Collection by Kit Milano. I recently smooshed this, so I kind of need a lip brush to use the 
<laughs> to use this smooshed part. Like this is kind of fine. <laughs> It doesn't look fine. It's 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 still usable. It just doesn't look the best uh, like this. But this is still really nice. I like it. I'm gonna keep it. Then we have the Kika Milano Beauty Essentials Color Flush 3 in 1 all over. You can use this as a blush, but also as a liquid lipstick. I really like this as a metal liquid lipstick. I'm gonna keep it. This is shade 04. I also have another shade, which is 01. This is more of kind of like a mauve nude. This... It's also a really nice shade. I'm gonna keep it. This is a little beauty liquid lipstick in Daydream. This is a really nice shade, kind of like a rosy nude. Perfect for me. Then we have the Kika Milano Sweet Affairs Sweet Kiss Duo Liquid Lip Color. I really, really love these. I wanna use them more. So I am gonna be keeping all of these. Like these is, this is not my perfect shade. I don't use this a lot, but I love this formula so much in this collection. I'm not gonna let go. I have in my collection all Nimia liquid lipsticks, or what am I saying? I have in my collection all Nimia lip glosses. I really love these. These are all amazing. Like th this one isn't really my shade, but I still like it for certain lip looks. Like these, this, this one in She Said What, and then this one in Don't Tell Anyone. Those are definitely my favorites. The rest, are nice shades, but those two are my personal absolute favorites. I'm gonna be keeping these. Then I have two more of the Kika Milano Holiday Premiere Lipstick and Gloss Duos. We have kind of like a nudish, cool tone nudish shade. And then we also have this kind of like berry purpley shade. I'm gonna be keeping these. I really like these. Then this was the kind of orangey liquid lipstick I was talking about by Luna Beauty. This is Hello's Eve and I want something like this in my collection because sometimes I can feel the urge like around Halloween or with a certain look. So I do want one of these colors and then I'm going to go with this formula. Then I have the uh, other liquid like, lipsticks that I have from Kiko Milano from the Lasting Matte Feel line. I have 05 and 07. I really love these shades. really love this formula. I'm going to keep it. Then I have the Flower Nose Swan Ballet shiny lipstick in B04. This is more of a cool toned light pink, ballet pink shade. I really like it. I'm gonna keep it. It's a bit bulky, this packaging, but I can live with it. And I have two more Kika Milano 3D Hydra lip glosses. I have shade 44, which is a very like chocolate brown. And then I have shade 19, which is kind of like a nude with some golden shimmer in there. I have some of the Lunar Beauty lipsticks that it came out with. Was it a year ago? I'm not really sure. I feel like I should just take them out of the packaging, then I will use them more. This is shade blushing, which is kind of like a rosy nude. Yeah, I'm just gonna like throw out the boxes. Then we have shade Doodle, which is a like, mauve pink. Then we have shade Icon. This is my favorite from the line. This is the kind of like cool toned nude shade of this line. I really like that color. Let's see if it is similar to this clean idea one. No, this one is way cooler. Okay, that is good to know. And then we also have Stormy, which is the red pink shade like this. Gonna be keeping all of these. Then we have one of my favorite lipsticks in my collection. This is a Kika Milano Sweet Affair Sweet Kiss Lip Silo in 01. This just stays on the lips for such a long time. It's such a good shade. I really like this cool tone brown. Then we have two more of the Nabla Beyond Jelly Lipsticks. We have shade Libido, which is kind of like this nude red. And I really like this shade. Can't I turn this down more? Like what happened here? This is normal. And then we have shade Ardor. And I feel like this is not really my color. It's a little bit of that warm brown on my lips and it just doesn't suit me. Like I like it, but not for me. I'm gonna declutter this one. Then we have another Catrice Winnie the Pooh lip balm. This is the Wind Day one. This was the more like lighter pink. I'm gonna be keeping this. Might declutter it in the future, but I feel like I still would like to try to use it because it emphasizes a little bit of texture on the lips, but 
I think I still like it enough. So this is the Blossoming Beauty Flower Glow Hydrating Lipstick in 03 by Kika Milano. This is a really nice kind of like soft red shade. I should use this more. I am gonna be keeping this. Then we have a Kika Milano Beauty Essentials uh, Hydrating Shiny Lipstick in 03. I really love this one. I am gonna be keeping this one. Then another Kika Milano Hydra Shiny Gloss. This is in 43. It's a little bit more of a salmon-y pink. Then a Kika Milano Powerful Love Stunning Creamy Lipstick in 02. This is the more rosy shade of this line. And really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna be keeping this. I have some more Kika Milano here. This is the lip balm, the colored lip balm. And I don't like the colored lip balm formula. I think it's too thin, it's not really hydrating, it just doesn't do much for my very dry lips. And I just did my video talking about all of the formulas by Kika Milano and I think now I can let these go. I accept that I've done what I wanted to do, I've tried all of the products, the lip products, the lip formulas by Kiki Milano and now it's time for this to leave. The formula that I do really like from Kiki Milano is the Jelly Lip Stylo. This is the one in 501 and the sheer one with shimmer. This is so good. So I'm gonna be keeping that one. Then I have 512 as well. This is very out there. This is a very like deep purple shade. I was not expecting this to be so deep purple. And now that I'm swatching it, I think this would look so good on my friend that just found out she's winter. And now I'm kind of like, I can let go of this. Knowing that this is gonna get a good home. I think I'm gonna give this away. Then, Charming Escape Luxurious Shiny Lips Lipstick by Kika Milano. I am never <laughs> getting rid of this. Like This packaging is so good. This is not my perfect shade of lip color, um, but I am gonna keep this forever because it's so good. It's just so beautiful. This this bullet is like the best lipstick packaging I think I've ever seen. I just think it's so luxurious feeling. It's so good. Then Kika Milano Tuscan Sunshine Shiny Lip Stylo. This is the one in 01, which is kind of like this uh, lilac -y nude. I've actually used quite a bit of this. Uh, this is a really nice one. I'm gonna be keeping it. it might be a little older, but as long as it looks and smells good, I am good with that. Then I have here the Catrice Tinted Lip Oil Gloss and Glow in 010 Keep It Juicy. This is really nice. This is my favorite pH reacting lip product on the market. This one I actually wear. This is really good. Then we have this Kaleidos Lip Glaze in Free Fall. This is the kind of like gray shimmery one. And I'm going to be keeping this one. It's a little bit of an out there product though. Maybe I didn't need it to begin with, but now I have it. This is the Hydra Shiny Lip Stylo or the Hydrating Shiny Lipstick in 02 from the Beauty Essentials line by Kika Milano. This is more of that toned down red shade. I love this color. I don't feel like I have anything else in this exact color in my collection. Then another Kaleidos Lip Glaze. This is in Last Smoke. This is kind of like that cool toned purpley mauve really cool then i still have some luna beauty this is the luna beauty lip gloss in mystery from the mystery box this is kind of like a yellowy champagne shimmery gloss i am gonna be keeping that um this is the liquid lipstick in aphrodite this is a bright red liquid lipstick this is gonna go in the maybe pile i'm gonna throw out this box like i keep so many boxes um, this is the Lunar Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Perfection. This is the Light Nude. I have to try this again when I got this. I didn't really understand it because I wasn't really combining Light Nudes with a lip liner yet. But I feel like now I would really enjoy this. So I'm gonna keep it. Then I have the Kiss Me Lip Oil and the Love Me Lip Oil. Alright, Love Me is the red one. I should really throw out the boxes so I know what I have. And then Kiss Me was the pink one. Yes. Gonna keep both of these. I love the lip oils by Luna Beauty. And then I have the lip gloss in Dreamy. This is a sheer peachy one. I really love it. And the last three lip products of this whole collection of all of this whole video. In this video I didn't even like bring in the products that I'm still testing. Like it's too much. There's too much going on here already. This is already gonna be a three hour long video. 
So here we have the Lunar Beauty Lip Gloss in Coven. And this is a kind of like peachy champagne. I am not decluttering that one, I'm keeping that one. Then we have a Zaya Liquid Lipstick. And this is kind of like a... What's this? Kind of like a rosy but slightly terracotta nude. And then here I have Aura Lip Gloss. And this is, I believe, a cream lip gloss and it is kind of like cool toned light nude. Okay, in front of me is the biggest mess of my makeup life. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where to start here. We should go over the maybe pal. So we have some bright reds here that are all very primary. I'm thinking I'm gonna let go of the shine balm. And I'm probably gonna keep the Luna Beauty one. And I'm gonna let go of this one from the Catrice collection. I have two of the collection. And then I'm gonna let go of the Love, Luck and Dragons as well. Uh, I just think it's such a cute collection. But I have the other lipstick that I like more. Then this Martina Cosmetics. I am gonna let go of this one because it is just very like pigmented and not exactly my type of shade and I feel like someone else could use this more. Then we have the two Flower Nose lip stains. The, the kind of like watery lip stains. They are very cooling and very sweet. Do I give these another shot? Like these are the swatches. The pinky one and the more nudey one. They are just so subtle but in a way that's also something nice. I think I'm gonna keep these for now because they're also newer in my collection. I have nothing like them. I feel like it is time to let go of this Colourpop blotted lip. I feel like there are so many ways I can achieve the look that I bought this for. Like there are so many ways. You can just blot a lipstick on the lips and I do have a red lipstick. So I am gonna declutter that one. This Kika Milano liquid lipstick. I don't feel like I need it. Don't feel like I really need this shade in my life. I feel like there are other ways um, I'd like to wear a tone like this. Other products I prefer in the tone. So that is gonna go. Then with the Huda Beauty lip blush and then the Juicy Tint by Kiko Milano. These had very similar effects on the lips and the cheeks. Like these are very, very similar. The lip blush looks kind of like brown. Almost like brownie lilac. I hope you can kind of see. And then we have the juicy tint. I don't even know if this is still available. Um, yeah. yeah, that's a little bit more berry actually. I thought they looked very similar on the cheeks. But now I don't know. I did kind of like this one. I did kind of like this one. But how many tints do I need? I do like them with something on top like... Be a gloss or something. I think I'm gonna like keep both of these for now. Uh, look at all these stains. Uh, okay, this Catrice lipstick. I just think that this packaging is kind of annoying. Like you turn it and then the little pu like the little puppet hits your hand. Do you see? I hate it. I'm gonna declutter it. It's enough of a reason for me. I need space in my life. And then the Kailena one from Unearthly is gonna go. The Makeup by Mario, I'm gonna keep them for now because I do like the look on the lips of these and I feel like they don't take up a lot of space. I can still see something happening there. This Clean Idea lipstick. I'm gonna keep it, but if I see something similar, I'm gonna declutter it. But it's really hard to see right now. Maybe I will declutter it once I am organizing. And then this rouge lipstick. Do I ever want to wear such a dark red? Do I ever feel like I should wear such a dark red? I feel like I can find someone who will wear this. And I will enjoy the other fancy cosmetics lipstick more, I think. Then we had the one... Isn't this a... Like similar color to the clean ID. No, it's such an interesting color, this one. It's such an interesting color. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one for now. It's also newer in my collection. I believe it's still available. This one, the power plumping gel lipstick in this shade, I'm gonna let go of. I'm gonna accept that I am letting go. That I don't really need it anymore. Then we have the Demi Matte in 100. Um, 
I'm gonna give this one more shot. One more shot, but this might also go pretty quickly. And we have this long lasting lip color marker by Kiki Milano. I do still wanna try this again when my lips aren't that dry, so I'm gonna keep it. I feel like the color is pretty different than other stains that I have. And then we have this lipstick. The a Holiday Fable Enchanting Lipstick in 01. I want to give it one more shot. But I feel like I remember it being a little too metallic on me. But I want to try it one more time. Because I do wear lipsticks a little bit differently nowadays than I used to. Changing the look of them a little bit with a certain lip liner. Or wearing it a certain way. So... I see some options with it. All right, so here is what I have decluttered so far and I've just counted them up. And these are 56 lip products. I do feel like there's still something I could do maybe here. Like there's still a lot of lip products that I have here in front of me. But I feel like the way they are spread out right now, it's just not very like easy to see what I have, what I could still do with it. So I'm just gonna start putting some things in this basket maybe. Like I'm kind of thinking how I should organize it if I can really show you. I'm gonna try, okay? I'm gonna try to show you the organization, but I'm also gonna try and ignore you a little bit to just do my thing without thinking about like you being able to follow along. <laughs> this is just extra. I'm gonna let go of this Nimia lip gloss. It's just really not my shade. And I was taking a lot of pride in having all the shades, but I just really don't need this one. But it is 57 decluttered. And now there are 60 in this basket if I've not miscounted, which I might have. thinking if I really need this flower nose a lip clay situation. Do I really need this in my life? I don't think I'll miss it. I think I'm gonna declutter it. So that's 58 decluttered. kind of thinking if I should keep this one. I think I'm gonna declutter it. I have other shades like this and as I said I think the package is really annoying so 59. So another 60 lip products in here. So I believe this is 120. I'm kind of losing count a little bit. This could be 122 as well. Like maybe this was 62, like a lot of, <laughs> a lot of counting. I'm trying to like make things stay upright is happening here. So let's say that together is 120.
we're getting somewhere i feel like that was the rest of it uh so i already made a little cup and i feel like i kind of want to do another cup for the romand ones or give them a place a little bit more easily accessible like i walk past and i just grab one of them because that is basically what i do i just grab them just for the daily looks uh let's count how many are in here Let's say 57. So that means I have 187 or something like that. Plus these over here. 17. So I still have over 200 lip products in my collection. That's something to think about. Yes, that's a lot. Okay, I'll put it on a frame. What we are still working with right now I do have to keep in mind that a lot of this is also caused by me trying a lot doing lip swatch videos and i also want some to just have for reference and a lot of this i also kind of like have to go back to have to go through to see if there's anything that i want to declutter next time around i also feel like a lot of my like lip balm kind of products are in here right now. Like I put everything together in here. Not just the things that I wear for makeup. I do feel kind of good about how organized this is right now. I'm kind of happy with this. But I kind of feel like I have to be a little bit more mindful. And I feel like I do know a lot better now what I have. What I can focus on. What I want to try a little more. So I do feel good. But I also feel a little bit like contemplative. Like... I have to think about my situation a little bit because I'm just one person and I do really love to do lip videos and give you all the information. So I kind of have to find a balance, I think, in that. 